Welcome to Fun Uber Games. We have six dollars in tickets for Luis. He rolled over some wins from last time. Looking for three like symbols or two like symbols and a three X. Nothing there. That was a one dollar ticket. Now he has a five dollar ticket. Fast fifty three. No 34, 8 or 24. So thanks guys for doing the prank video. We got a lot of comments up, a lot of dislikes. But about about 20 dislikes and 20 likes. Maybe people are scared to comment. There's some brutal comments in there. It's pretty funny. So hopefully over the next few weeks we we get some people who uh who see it and comment. It's pretty hilarious. 16. If if this works, the the prank video, if it if it's you know we get some traction. I was thinking of doing kind of like the opposite next time. Where I'd make a video like a really negative video like condescending about you guys and then your comments are very positive like you're such a nice guy and you're amazing and all this great stuff about me meanwhile i was so negative and rude towards you so we'll see how people react to that video um but we'll see if this video even works if it does then we can do that one and see how people react saying why are you saying such nice things this guy is such an asshole I posted a video this person won 15 million dollars two years ago on a scratch off which is the most I've ever found I'm trying to do like research and find these cool news articles or well, if you have any ideas related to scratching let me know Looks like Luis, it's over. Sorry, buddy. And look at this. One of my subs, Chris, sent in. He goes, hey, what's up, man? This is Chris. Here's your ticket. You won on the basketball game. We, we bet that if the Warriors won, he would give me a $20 ticket. If the Cavs won, I'd give him a $20 ticket. You know, I, and I forgot about like that wager, but he, uh, I'm glad he remembered. And this is the ticket he got. Cause I, I get so many emails and requests. And I kind of felt bad the other day, and I won't mention the person's name, but one of my subs won money in a contest and they asked me to donate that money. To someone in need or charity so I gave it to a friend but when I was gathering my list of like winners from the past week I included his name as one of the winners so I scratched off tickets in his name and he got really pissed off at me for scratching tickets when I, he told me to donate it he thought I was just I ignored it, and I, I was just trying to, like, build a channel, I guess. But I explained it to him, and I think it's better. But, um, but yeah, it's, um, it's hard when you get, like, a million, like, requests and emails and, and all this stuff. People sending you tickets and people asking you to help post their videos, things like that. And of course my contests and to keep things in order. So if I mess up and I, I messed up someone else, they email me the code and I didn't include them on that week's drawing. And I might have done it with other people too. And 
just let me know if, if I if I did that. And if I do it more than once, I'll I'll make it up to you. Maybe I'll get you a ticket and scratch it off just for you. Because it does get sometimes and I'm pretty organized and good with that stuff, but it can get hard challenging to keep everything in order. Because you got to keep rolling, sometimes rolling people's tickets over, or other people don't want you to roll it over to pay them or or a split. And some people, times people change their minds, so it's so it's definitely not intentional if I make a mistake. Because I don't really have a, it doesn't benefit me to to like to do anything like withhold your name from from the drawing. I don't make any money. I'm gonna pick somebody. Uh, or do anything else like it, I really don't it's not like you're sending me money for anything I guess if you sent me money to get tickets I guess I could keep it but I, I mean that'd be silly um, so there's really no benefit of me of doing anything like that where I would sabotage anybody <clears throat> so you, just, you know if I do make a mistake just bring it to my attention and like with that guy who I forgot to put his name in the in the randomizer, he told me, and I'm glad he brought it to my attention because then I found a problem with my spreadsheet. Like it wasn't catching all the cells. So I fixed the spreadsheet. So I fixed missing his name and other names. I'm talking too much, so I don't think I, this is anything. Let's see. Um, no one, no 37. There's no 30s up here at all, or 50s, right? No 30s or 50s. 11, 30, only the 41, 4, 34, 14, 31. There's no 30s, right? 22, 59, 9, 24. 43, no 30s, 5, 15. And yesterday I fired my first employee ever. I never actually fired somebody. I've always kind of like, we kind of like both came to an agreement like it wasn't working or or they cut it or I cut their hours and then they quit but this is the first time I actually had to fire somebody it was it wasn't a fun experience but I guess you got to do those things no winner but it doesn't matter I really Chris that's awesome that you sent this I totally forgot about that when you reminded me after the cat after the series I, I, I forgot we even bet and I even forgot after you reminded me too. That's how you know much activity is going on. It was totally off my radar because I had like a hundred other things going on. So that really means a lot that you sent this ticket. And it doesn't matter if it, if it was a win or not. So I really appreciate that. You're a great guy. It's awesome. So thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, sh shoot me a comment. Let me know if you have any prank ideas related to scratch offs. Maybe I'll do some more of those. I, I think if we come up with something good, it'll be really funny. Okay, talk to you soon.